Ladies and gentlemen, the accusee has turned against the accuser. <laughs> what do I mean right here? Uh, yesterday, the spokesperson of Uganda police, Afande Fred Nanga, read out the names of people that are yet to be summoned after saying uncoordinated statements about the death of the late speaker, Jacob Lokori Olanya. Now, Fred Nanga said Jacob Olanya's father, Muzei Lokori Nathan, Honorable Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, uh, the ICT minister, that is Chris Bariomusi, among others, will be summoned soonest to explain about the poisoning of the big man Jacob Lokori Olanya. Now, today, the minister of ICT, that is Chris Bariomusi, held a press briefing and told off the spokesperson of Uganda police, Afande Fred Nanga. Now, Bariomusi says, Nanga and your entire police, you guys, you need to be very careful. You need to be professional in the way you do your things. I mean, you cannot summon Musei Nathan Lokori just days after burying his son. This Musei right now needs serious counseling so that he can return to normal. But you guys are here adding stress on him. Minister Bariomusi said Enanga should be very careful. Otherwise, he might end up summoning the dead person that is Jacob Olanya. <laughs> that statement is very funny, my guy. Anyway, let's listen to Minister Chris Bariomusi, but don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for all the notifications. Thank you. Prepare for a sign. Should we come and escort you as you go to police? <laughs> police. So police should be professional in the way it handles its work. Even if it is improper to start issuing someone is the man who has buried his son just a few days. Like I have said, maybe Jacob Olanya's father needs counseling so that he can come to terms with the loss of his son. At this rate, Fred and Anger might summon Jacob Olanya <laughs> by the time we issue summons. Because now his father is saying, My son told me, but it will be Jacob Olanya's word against his father. So I think he might end up summoning Jacob Olanya. So my caution to the police is that yes, we will escape, but do it professionally and avoid dragging our names into this drama of, of poison. But the position of the government remains as read in the medical report that Jacob Olanya died of cancer and associated complications. And we should give respect to Jacob Olanya, allow him to rest in peace instead of Keeping this discussion, I don't know for what benefit. So I really want to caution the police. The word enanga in my language means it's a musical instrument. It's a harp. Which if you touch the string, it gives you the music. But this time, it's giving a discord. It's giving a discord. Dragging me into... Because his statement is saying he's focusing on those who are peddling information that Jacob Olanya was poisoned. So from what I have been saying, am I among those who have been peddling that information? So he should be professional in the way he does his investigation. So this time, the Rio Enanga is making a disappoint. Not music, not producing music. But I want to add my voice to caution all those Ugandans who want to continue with this drama of raising poison, poison, because there is no justification whatsoever for anybody to keep saying that Jacob Olanya was poisoned. 